Hey everyone, it's me, Tremia, and today um, I want to talk about isolation. Um, with lupus, isolation is so easy um, to just fall into uh, because there'll be times that we're put on bed rest, you know, being homebound, uh, like I'm not able to get out and drive and go do things. You know, I'm basically, I'm at home alone unless my husband happens to, or happens, he's home in the evening because he works during the day, or uh, my son's home. Uh, and I got used to being by myself. And I, I even got to the point to where on the weekends, I was so used to being by myself, I would just keep myself shut up in my bedroom when they were home because I was so used to being alone and that that's not good um, we need to have communication and friendships you know, and speaking of friendships you know over the past years I've lost some really good friendships because people don't know how to handle the chronic illness um, and especially with us you know at times being severely ill um, I think it scares them, and, you know, they just don't know what to do, and it's just not like, oh, you know, an acute illness, like, I'm going to go in, have a surgery, have a couple of weeks recuperating time, and then I'm going to be okay, and everything's back to normal. Lupus isn't that, you know, it's so, um... You don't know what's going to be around the next corner. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, you might be in remission, although I haven't ever been in remission. Um, you might be in remission one day and the next day be bedridden. And others, they just don't know how to cope with that. Um, but I got used to the isolation. And I'm not a person that likes to talk on the phone either. So... You know, I was, I just, I, I was in the, in my house and by myself and, and that was it. Um, I would, the, seem like the only people that I did communicate with other than my husband and my son would be my parents and also my doctors and that was it. My friendships, you know, they weren't there anymore. Um, last year, I was hospitalized for three months, and during that time, I got used to being around people again. So, see, good things do come out of bad things. But, you know, I got used to speaking to the nurses, to my physical therapist, to my doctors. I got used to, you know, laughing with others again, and, and I enjoyed it. And I made um, a decision that when I went home... I was going to reach out to my friends and make sure, you know, that our relationship continued. And I invite, uh, I just, I invite a friend over each week, um, you know, just to come over and sit with me and we can sit and chat for however long. I might just be able to do it for 30 minutes or I might be able to sit there for a couple of hours. But, you know, we can chat, have girl time, and laugh. Um, a lot of times, uh, I love cherry limeades, and I'll have my friends bring me a cherry limeade, or we might do lunch. They bring lunch over. But, um, you know, it, it's just, it's so good to have my friends back into my life. Also, I have a wonderful friend that, um, you know, I cannot physically do my pedicures and um, also I can't go out to a salon and get it done um, for one I just can't get there and two um, the germs you know I can't risk infection and so she comes over um, you know I'll text her and ask her you know when she can come over and do my my pedicure and, and she brings the stuff. I, I have my own little kit, but she brings like a, a foot soaking tub and everything. 
and she does my, my nails, and we just sit and we laugh, and we talk about, you know, fun things or serious things, but we just sit and have a good time. And I, and I make sure, you know, I, I have at least one visitor a week that we just can sit and, you know, just be friends and laugh and have girl time. So if you find yourself in isolation, um, it's not easy to get out of it because it, it wasn't for me. Um, it took me out of my comfort zone. But, you know, take the steps necessary. Take a deep breath. Um, keep on trying until you can get it done, until you can get a friend over. Um, and, you know, just once a week. And, I mean, it makes a world of difference. And it's just nice to know that your friends care enough, you know, to come over and visit. Um, the majority of the time, you know, they just, they know you're sick and they just, um, you know, don't want to bother you or, uh, you know, and, but you really need them in your lives and just text them, Facebook them, um, email them, you know, do whatever, or if you, if you like talking on the phone, pick it up and call and ask them to come over, you know, don't worry about your house, um, what it looks like or anything. They really don't care. They really want to visit you and have a good time. So keep yourself out of isolation and, you know, enjoy the companies of others. Um, that's all I've got. <laughs> you know, um, we really need to have those that love us and that we love in our lives. So make the effort. I know it's hard. It was definitely hard for me. But make the effort. And it helps you. It helps you physically and mentally. Um, and it's just a good time. Laughter is the best medicine. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.